One teenager dead, another in jail, following an argument that led to a deadly shooting Sunday night in Forsyth. Investigators say 17-year-old Cedric Mays was shot and killed by 17-year-old Tarmaine Bowden. Taylor Hicks was in Forsyth to gather more information. That's right, the shooting happened right inside of this Walmart around 6 p.m. on Sunday night, leaving 17-year-old Cedric Mays dead. Now, I spoke with one Forsyth native who knows both the victim and the shooter, and he says he never expected anything like this to happen. Very shocked, heartbroken by the situation. Christopher Andrews grew up in Forsyth. Forsyth is a small town. Um, just about everyone knows everyone. Andrews says that's why it's been hard for him to come to terms with the shooting that took place on Sunday night at Walmart, leaving 17-year-old Cedric Mays dead and 17-year-old Tarmaine Bowden in jail. And I've kind of watched him, you know, grow up over the years. And, you know, um, just uh, different situations running into them and um, never anything bad out of either. Um, more so guidance anytime I talk to either one of them. Andrew says he always knew them to be friends and that this is the last thing he expected. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office says it started with an argument between Mays and Bowden inside the produce section. It continued into the frozen food section where Bowden pulled out a gun and shot Mays several times. A lot of these teens, uh, when they have a firearm that readily available, they are coming up with a permanent solution to what is at best a, a temporary problem. Sheriff Brad Freeman says they don't know where Bowden got the gun and that the violence needs to stop. This is going to affect when they do something foolish like this, it is going to affect their life and, you know, for the rest of their life. Just a situation where I'm praying for both sides, both families, um, you know, that they have strength through this because I know it's hard for both, both sides. Well, this incident is still under investigation. Reporting in Forsyth, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. Now, Sheriff Freeman said two people were arrested outside of that same Walmart a few minutes after Bowden's arrest for trying to make their way back into the store with stolen guns.